welcome back to my channel so today i filmed this really really fun purple inspired look i actually got really inspired by my background color you guys like i bought a new light for my background <laughs> if you're following me on snap you know what light i'm using so if you guys haven't yet please make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell because i upload on my channel every single week so make sure you subscribe and if you guys want to see how i created this look please keep watching all right guys so let's get started so i'm going to start off with my eyes first i haven't done purple in a while so i got inspired by this background <laughs> i'm going to prime my eyes first using this primer here this is actually for glitter but it works for pigments and eyeshadows really well i want this look to be really nice and vibrant that's why i'm using this type of glitter adhesive yes girl it's gonna be strong so this is on smolder cosmetics it's called dazzle lock and this literally just goes on clear so let's just put a few dots on my eyes and then just tap it out with my finger you want to make sure you tap this out well otherwise your eyeshadow will be really harsh when you try to blend it out on the lid today we're going to be using this palette from makeup addiction cosmetics you guys know i'm loving makeup addiction and we're going to be using this shade here it's called amethyst and i'm literally just going to pack this pigment onto my eyes oh guys look oh girl this pigment is such a pretty color it's been a long time since i found a really nice purple eyeshadow and when i'm packing this pigment on i'm kind of sweeping it on the eye so that i get full maximum color payoff so you pat and then you sweep pat and then sweep because you want the color to be really nice and pigmented and then when you have less on the brush that's when i start to go a little bit higher and i use the edge of the brush to smudge out that freaking harsh line girl oh god why is that line so harsh if you can use a brush that's synthetic so that you can get the most color payoff especially when you're using shimmery eyeshadows if you get like a flat synthetic brush that would be the best way to get the most color payoff on your eyes so when i'm putting on my eyeshadow i'm not bringing it all the way across i'm bringing it about three quarters of the way because i want a more matte shade just on the corners here i am going to take a bit of fix plus for matte it's going to spray my brush a couple times Get it nice and damp. And then I'm going to go back in with some more eyeshadow. And now that my brush is a bit damp, the colour is going to go on even more pigmented. Even more? Yes, it'll go on even more, guys. I'm literally just going to go right onto the eyelid. And it almost foils the eyeshadow slightly. So that it's a bit more intense just on the lid area. That's the way the fallout. <laughs> Alright guys, so on my eyes, I'm going to use a bit of a blusher shade to kind of help fade this, to make it a bit warmer rather than too much of a blue tone palette. I'm going to be using a blusher, this is from The Balm and it's called In Stain. You can use any blusher that's a bit more pink and it's just going to give that soft kind of pink effect when it kind of fades out. You want to make sure you go for like a matte pink guys, nothing too shimmery for this because you want it to look really nice and faded and blushes make a really good transition color because normally they're not too pigmented which is what you kind of want you want the fade to be really nice and soft and let's just go in around the edges of that purple to get it really nice and diffused so as you guys can see it's starting to give a really nice soft fade from that blusher even though i'm picking up quite a lot every time i go into the product when i actually put it on the eyes because it's a blusher it gives like a really soft finish with eyeshadows they tend to put a lot more pigment inside of the eyeshadow because they want it to be pigmented whereas blushes you don't want a blusher to be too pigmented because then you end up with clown cheeks especially this one from the balm as well because it is meant to be like a, a staining blusher so it lasts a long time on the eyes and cheeks for the outer corners i'm going to use my morphe r39 brush and i'm going to go in with this old eyeshadow palette that i have from sugar peel this is like their old ass packaging look how thick it is i think now it's all like nice and thin now this is called the burning heart palette and we're going to use this shade here it's called poison plum oh my god look how pigmented that is <laughs> Make sure you tap off the excess. Just to let you know that Poison Plum, it does stain my eyes a little bit. So if you're a bit scared of stained eyes the next day, maybe don't worry. But I love this colour. It's the best purple eyeshadow I've ever, ever worn or tried. So I'm just going to put this on the outer corners here where you guys can see I left that gap. And this is going to help create a bit more dimension, a bit more colours to the eyes. It's so purple, this look, this background, yes. And I'm just going literally in circular motions using the tip and the sides of the brush. And you want to make sure every time you pick up more product, you go back into the same place so that that one area near your lash line, it keeps building up colour and it goes a bit darker in that certain area. And make sure you keep tapping off your brush as well because this is quite chalky eyeshadow, I'm not going to lie. Not chalky, it does kick up a lot of dust, but it's very pigmented. So it's like double edged sword, you know. So you guys can see it's starting to create that kind of depth just on the outer corners here. But the line out here is still a bit harsh so i'm gonna go back in with my mac 224 with 
with that blusher colour and I'm going to go around the edges of this so it all nicely merges together. So guys, you want to make sure you keep going back in with that blusher colour and keep fading at that edge because every time I put in that darker colour, it's starting to get that high freaking edge back. So you want to get rid of that as much as you can along the process. I thought it was going to be quite hard to blend out at the end. I love purples on my eyes. It's one of my favourite colours to wear. I always feel like a little peacock or something when I wear it. Peacocks are blue, actually. <laughs> so because I don't want this colour to be really harsh, I'm kind of flicking upwards so that the colour is just not like a circle. Like if I keep going like this, you can see why it's creating that harsh line because the edges of the bristles are creating that kind of line, you know? So if I start to flick up, it's going to diffuse that line out while still giving me that definition in the crease. So I'm just using my Poison Plum eyeshadow and I'm just winging it out slightly so that it kind of comes out so it's really nice and elongated on the eyes. And I literally just keep going back and forth between the two brushes so every time I put a bit of darkness in there, I'm blending it right on out. So it gives me that really nice soft gradient. You guys see it goes really, really dark and then it kind of fades back into that kind of pinky kind of colour. Okay, on the eyes, I want to go for something a bit more like a magenta pink underneath. So I'm going to go for this product from Provoc. It's called Sexy Cabaret in number 28. And this is actually a lip liner, but I'm not going to use it for lips. I'm going to use it underneath the eyes. I really like Provoc products because they're made to go anywhere on the face. You can literally put it on the eyes, the lips, you can put it on your face on your belly button you can do it anyway you know this is like a really nice kind of like magenta-ish kind of like pinky plummy shade and i'm just going to line this underneath my lash line just here as always you guys see me always using like pencils and then go on top of eyeshadow because it'll make my eyeshadow go a bit brighter pop out a bit more you know i want it to be like a raspberry shade underneath my eyes and just using my finger just to blend out any harsh lines because it will be quite hard to put on eyeshadow later if i don't do that step guys i just realized i have this palette from morphe that is so good and i completely forgot that i had it it's called the morphe 35b palette this palette will be perfect for this look because it has those kind of like deep kind of purple shades as like a really good dupe for the sugar peel eyeshadow. This colour right here. Yes. Oh my god. So I'm going to use this shade here. It's like a purpley raspberry shade. You always want to make sure you set eyeliners because you don't want it to move and crease throughout the day. Even though the Provoc eyeliners are so long wearing anyways, you want to set it to make sure I ain't going to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm just using my 224 again, the one I use on top. And I'm just going to go all around. This is the trick that I do every single time. I finish my eye makeup I just use a big fluffy brush and I literally go around like a freaking crazy woman like drawing circles around her eyes because I want it to be really connected really faded really buffed out no edges you know well, obviously no edges no. Okay guys, so after you blend it out underneath, you can even leave it like this and put on some lashes and liner if you want to but it is a tweet tutorial so there is gonna be some glitter Alright guys, so we're going to put on a bit of glitter, as you guys can see. I'm going to take my Dazzle Lock glitter, the one that we used earlier for the eyeshadow adhesive. And this is my favourite glitter glue. I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger, like this, or you can put it directly on the eye. And then I'm just going to pat it all over the eyes, just so that when I put the glitter on, it's going to be like a really nice dispersed glitter and not like a big blob. I want the glitter to be blended as well, guys, yes. Even get the glitter to blend, as well as the eyeshadow, as well as the foundation, as well as the highlight contour, you know. The struggle's real. And then on my eyes, I'm going to do a mixture of two different glitters. One is called Wonder Woman and one is called Boogie Wonderland. This is both from Lip Cosmetics. I'm going to take a MAC 224, an old crusty one. Any old fluffy brush would do. And I'm just going to mix the two glitters together. The reason why I'm mixing them together is because they're both different sizes of glitter. Because I want it to look as sparkly as possible. I waited too long now my glitter adhesive is all dried. You have to be quick with this glitter glue, guys. You guys can see, whenever you mix glitters together, I always really love it when you get like big chunks and small chunks of glitter. Because it starts to look really like three-dimensional. Like when you turn your head, there's like different types of sparkle. And then... I just start to go a little bit higher just so that there's no edges. If I'm missing a piece of glitter glue, I'll literally just use a little dollop on my finger and not precise at all, just so that some parts stick. Because I just want like one flake of glitter. One bit of glitter can make so much different and make it look a bit more blended. So on the inner corners, you guys can see I made a little light blob of like psh, of glitter. So in the inner corners, I want there to be a bit of a lighter glitter. So I'm just going to take the Boogie One line on its own because the shade's a little bit lighter. It's still got like a purple tint to it, so it'll go well with the makeup. And then a little dollop of glitter in like a little ball. And then again, use my little finger and fade out the glue. Tap one dollop of glitter on the brush, press it off just so that it has a nice blob of glitter, you know? Blop, blop, blop. Like the glitter angel just farted on your eyes on the inner corners, you know? 
any glitter that's kind of dropped down, you just use a brush with a bit of powder on it and it will just sweep away because there's no adhesive holding down the glitter. Just on the outer corners here, I feel like it needs to be a bit darker. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of black eyeshadow. Any black eyeshadow. Just a little dollop on the blending brush. Just to add a bit more depth to the outer corners just so that it kind of combines this bit and makes it a bit really smoky and then leave this bit here so it goes like lighter but this bit here i like it to be like really smoky on this outer corner because then it looks a bit more like joined together okay on the eyes i'm just using benefit roller lash just to put some mascara on the lashes these things are cool lashes about five hairs here and then you know the deal the bold chickens okay to make these bold chickens extra extra black i am gonna go in with the mark jacobs blacker gel liner these are really nice you guys see this liner it is good she just gonna line my upper waterline this is scary to do guys i'm just running the gel liner just along my lash line at the top just on the corners to make it really nice and wingy if that's even a word wingy <laughs> gonna get a pencil brush just to buff that liner out Alright guys, so today's lashes of choice is from this brand called the Unicorn Lashes. Look at this packaging guys, it's so, so cool. This is in the style called Bambi. Look how pretty these lashes are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's look how fluffy and wispy they are. They go from like shorter on the inner corners to longer on the outer corners. Okay, I'm just going to quickly pop on my lashes and I'll be back. Ta-da! I got my lashes on. These lashes are so pretty. Look at them. Look at them. I love lashes so much. They just finished their look, don't you think? I feel like I need more blusher now because my eyes are so dramatic. Let's put on a bit more blush. I'm going to actually go in with this in-stained blusher that I used on my eyes. So we have a bit of a matching situation going on. My skin is so flat. It's because I haven't highlighted yet. Today's highlight menu consists of King Tut by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. <laughs> Brand new sealed in its box still. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been wanting to try King Tut for the longest time and I did swatch it when I first got it. I was like, oh, it's like butter. Let me swatch this bad boy for you guys, all right? <laughs> I get so excited for highlighters, guys. Honestly, every time I get a new one, I'm like, oh, it's like I've never seen a highlighter before in my life, you know? All right, let's go in. I'm using the Backstage Beauty Concealer Blender Brush. It's actually a synthetic brush, so it's going to pick this up really nicely. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I thought it would be actually really dark on me, but it actually doesn't come out that dark. It has enough reflex in it, so it doesn't look like a dark line, you know? This would be so nice on anyone that's a bit deeper than me as well. It would literally be the perfect highlighter. I would say if you are lighter, than me you probably can't really wear this that much because it is a little bit dark i think i'm just about can get away with it right this brush is not doing it for me i need to go back in with my morphe r36 i don't know why i tried to play myself and use a different brush <laughs> this brush just helps distribute it a lot nicer because it's more like a natural hair bristle brush oh freaking yeah and then on my forehead i'm loving the glow on my forehead recently guys yes feeling myself feeling myself i'm feeling my feeling myself on my nose and keep his bowl. Alright, guys, on the lips, I'm gonna use this colour from NYX. It's called Tress Leches or Tress Leeches. It is an intense butter gloss. And it's just like a nice pinky colour. You can do like a matte lip if you want, but I, I'm loving the glossy lip recently, guys. <laughs> I really really hope you guys enjoyed it and loved playing with colour with me You guys know I love colour and I love glitter and I love jewellery and I love everything That's bling bling gonna change change <laughs> I'll put all the details of all my jewellery down below in the description box So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up It really does help out my channel If you guys haven't yet already, please make sure you subscribe Hit the notification bell so you can join my notification squad And then be a part of my snap family as well And if you guys haven't yet, please make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms It's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram And I'll see you guys in my next video Enjoy the bloopers guys, I'm sure there's plenty Oh the itch guys, the itch is back Where's my mirror, y'all? My background look like it's shaking. Why are you shaking back there, girl? God, I wash all my brushes and now they're all white again. <laughs> Normally they're stained. I don't know why I'm getting everything good. I can't speak today. <laughs> what? Oh, that's awesome. What are you doing? Instagram or YouTube? YouTube. Another one for me. Yep, for you to edit. Shit. That's the background. There. It's not too bad. You like it? All oh, my friends are online. No, you're not allowed to go online. But now all day, you come home, you think you can go online.
Mate, I've been out all day editing, my friend. Purple background, purple eyes. Yeah. Your eyes go faded to the background now. Camouflage. Come on. Okay, get out your bloopers now. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Scram! I don't know why I do this face all the time whenever I do my makeup. Like, <laughs> onion, bro. <gasps> Jeez, that's the thing. Why is that bulb patch in my eyeshadow, girl? Oh no. No, this glitter's too blue. No. I don't want blue glitter. What the heck? Oh, I'm not happy with this. Ah! Stop making that noise. Oh, poor my freaking boob tube. Oh, I've got a boob tube on, guys. I'm not naked. <laughs> I'm so scared that this light behind me is going to burn my hair off. Can you imagine? My hair sets on fire. Would you guys tell me? <laughs> like, bitch, your hair's on fire. I still have to watch that, you know. Man, jibber jabbing in the back. <laughs> 